Good day, good day, good day. Welcome to another video. Yeah, I struggle with words. Welcome to another video with uh, my experiences in South Korea. My teach and learn experiences and my general South Korean experiences. Okay, so what we are going to do today in this video is we are going to talk about my students and some of the experience. This might be a multiple part video. This might be a multiple part video because so many students, so many good memories and, you know, I genuinely enjoyed working there. And this was the first time I experienced, I, it was the first time that I experienced joy from working, if that makes sense. And the reason how I explain this is uh, with my time in South Korea while teaching, I would literally start Monday. Uh, Monday, I'd know it's Monday. I'd start my Monday off. And then before I know it, it would be Friday. And I was like, what did we do this week? Or I would work, and then I know it's Monday, and before I know it, it's two weeks later, Thursday. You know, it was as if I almost didn't work, you know. Um, to be perfectly honest, when teaching kids, essentially, and this is sort of a negative way to look at it, okay, this is sort of the negative way to look at it. A lot of people say, yeah, you're basically just a paid clown for the kids, but I see their point where it was, yeah, you're a paid clown for the kids so that they have fun with foreigners and they know what's going on and they think foreigners are awesome. That was your main goal. But it was also to make them accustomed to foreigners, especially at the very young age. If you had the older students, they'd be more jaded and everything about seeing a foreigner English, a foreign English teacher. Um, they'd be more jaded, whereas with kids... It's a whole different story, okay? So you all remember I told you about with my previous meeting the kids thing, first day teaching officially. So I had the grade sixes, and I think I had the grade fives, and then the grade threes on that Monday, right? Now, we were only, I'm, I was only, uh, I'm only teaching 15 hours a week, so it's no biggie, you know? It's literally no biggie. Um, 15 hours a week ain't too bad. But, um, like I said, that, that also probably contributed to the fact that I was like, whoa, you know, days are going by fast. The one, it's not a bad thing. The one thing my school did is they made sure I came in every day of the week, right? I'd got, go in for one hour class and go back home, you know? Some of the days I only had one hour class. So I'd get on the bus, spend 45 minutes on the bus, get to school, eat lunch, do a class, and then go back home. Or get to school, give a class, eat lunch, and go back home. Um, so some days, you know, it was a bit of a, I felt like it was a bit of a waste. I would, I would rather have had a minimum of two to three classes a day. But again, 15 hours a week, you know. And then there were days where I literally had classes before lunch, classes after lunch, and get home at six. That's just how it rolled. But, um... Besides that, let's get let's get down to the students, okay? So about in my first week, within my first week, I think it's about my third day, maybe fourth day teaching there. This Thursday, maybe Wednesday or the Thursday. I've given classes to all the kids. Keep in mind, all the kids, one of the four lessons I prepared was basically who I am, who's my family, and everything. I wanted to show you that uh, PowerPoint presentation, but... But there's faces on there, family faces, family and friends faces on there. And I don't want to, you know, I'm respectful to them, so I'm not going to show you that. Uh, I wanted to, but it's like I looked at it the other day. I'm like, ooh, yeah, no, my mom's on there, my father's on there, my brother's on there, his wife, his two kids. Rather not, you know, rather not. Just leave it at that. And um, so the kids know where I'm from, and they're like, oh, teacher, Namagong? And I'm like, yes, I'm from South Africa. And uh, teacher, white? Yes, I'm white, and I'm from South Africa. 
and stuff like that. It was quite it was quite fun, right? But so I'm standing. I'm standing. It was after lunch. I remember this. It was after lunch. So I'm walking. So after lunch, what I do is I go to the bathroom at the other end of the school, uh, which I'll probably show in a, in, a, in a Google Maps thing so that you can roughly estimate where it was, where everything was in the school. But lunch was on the one side of the school, and the bathroom that I go to was on the other side. The men's bathroom that I go to was on the other side of the school. So I'm there eating lunch and everything, talking to everybody, get up, finish, say thanks for the food, go to the bathroom, wash my hands, brush my teeth, and get out of the bathroom. And I'm ready to, um, like, you know, get my day started after lunch, get my classes ready and clean and everything after lunch. And I think, yeah, Suyon calls me over, and she's about two, uh, two classes away from me. And I'm like, okay, cool. And I start talking to her and she just like gives me some information about something. I think we were trying to organize when I'm going to get my phone, which was essentially basically that same day that I just had to stay in a little bit. And then when she finished, we'd go, we'd drive to Gochang. So I didn't have to pay bus fare back. And um, we get there and I start finishing. We finish and I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, no, I'll stay an extra hour or two clean up the class, um, I'll stay an extra, I think it was two hours after class, after my last class, before we left, and um, I think my last class ended at two, we had lunch until one, we had a class, I had a class after one, and we decided to go to Gochang at about four, because apparently they don't close at five, they close at like six, the mobile shops and whatever, so I'm like, sweet, and we finish talking, and I just hear, Teacher! Teacher! And I turn to the side, and this little kid, Matt, she's, she's, she was grade uh, three. She was grade three. And she's like a couple of meters, like, let's say, and I'm looking as if I'm look, standing. Class door was here. I'm looking that way towards my class. And... She's like at the stairs, so it's about two it's about two classes away from me. So that's about what? A good ten meters, maybe twenty meters away from me. And she's at the corner and she's like at the at the top of the stairs and she's like looking around the corner and she's like, Teacher, teacher and I'm like, Hi I have no idea what her name is, by the way. Hi and she starts running. She starts running and I'm like, Okay. This is going to be interesting. And she starts running. And I'm like, okay, this is going to be, this is my time to shine as a strong man, strong fat man. You know, this is my time to shine. And I'm like, cool. And she runs. And it's all happening in slow-mo in my mind. This And about a couple of, like... I'm not saying meters, like a, a small distance away from me. She stops and she jumps. And I'm like, immediately I'm thinking, oh crap, if I move out of the way, she's going to fall. And, you know, I don't know what to do. And she jumps and she jumps with her arms open, her face bright, eyes big. And I'm like, Hugh! and I pick her up. And she gives me the strongest hug her little body could give me. And I hug her and I put her down. And Suyon is freaking out and she starts talking. I'm like, no, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. It's fine. You know, it's fine. And that girl turned out to be Tan Dan Bin, right? And she literally <clears throat> we're gonna get there and i'm not gonna cry now but that's what she basically did at least once or twice a week where she just runs up to me jumps into a hug and i give her a hug and i put her down and i'm like how are you and she's like fine i'm like ah oh. and then i start like how was your day and she's like oh no and then she runs away <laughs> and laughs you know so that was my 
That was Dan Bin, right? She had an older sister. I think she was grade three. Or she might have been grade two. She might have been grade two. Her older sister was grade three. But anyway, she was a young kid. And um, on the day... And we're going we're gonna to touch on this subject a lot, and I'm going to eventually show photos of that. Um, I remember the last... <clears throat> I'm not going to cry. I'm probably going to edit this. I remember, like, the last or second to last day at school. She runs up to me. And she hands me a framed picture. I still have that picture. I wish I could show it. I still have that picture in the other room with her and her older sister. And um, she gives it to me. And she's like, teacher, for you on my last day, Dan Bin gives it to me. And um, <clears throat> on the back of this photo, literally is written, Teacher, please don't forget us. Yeah. Yeah. And let me tell you, Dunbin, I haven't forgotten you. I'm looking forward to the day that I can go to South Korea even off, even 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 if only on a holiday and try and meet up with you all right try and meet up with you all and talk to you and hopefully by then my korean is better so that we can better communicate and everything so that was the story of dan bin and teacher hasn't forgotten about you right i haven't and uh, I'm looking forward to the day that we can meet again. And uh, yeah, that we've reached the end of this one, uh, let me, this video. Let me just tell you, I think the, the, the students, student videos are going to be a lot shorter than um, the other videos. That'll go into more detail. And yeah, thank you everybody for watching. And I'll, I'll see you on the next one before I start crying like a baby. I'll see you on the next one. And... Uh, Enjoy the rest of your day.